Hello, I'm the Budget Mudder and this is episode 13 of my Airfix 172nd scale Shackleton AW2 build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode, we'll be reattaching the Hoojima flip that goes on top of the fuselage. Foreshadowing, it's not the only time I'm going to be doing this. Right, while we're doing that, Happy New Year to you all. Hope you had a great New Year and had a good Christmas. I had a quiet one, thank you. Some of the time I was contemplating, where am I going to take my channel? I have a few ideas, but I'll leave those for a separate video. Also, look out for a video coming out about the builds I want to do in the coming year. Once I've finished off the King Tiger and Bergpanzer, the Shackleton, and the Fokker, which is nearly finished. Watch out for that video coming out soon. So, without further ado, oh, wait a minute, what was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, that's it. Have you checked out my F4U buddy build with Mr. Malcolm Childs from Models for Heroes? What do you mean no? Then you better go and check it out. And the epic job that Malcolm is doing on his F4U. It is looking awesome. Go check it out. You may be able to tell that I'm waffling. Yep. Gluing the thingamabob is not going to take much longer and not really worth the speedy uppy thing at the moment. So let's let this roll and we'll catch up after it's finished. So there we have the jobby glued back on. I'm sure there's someone out there who can tell me what it is. Probably fairy stuff. Anywho, next up we're going to mask up the underside of the wings and get the inside of the flaps done. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. Oh really? You are bloody kidding me. This is not the first time I've had an issue with these decals. Some of them just do not want to sit flat. Hey ho, let's get this sorted before we carry on, shall we? Well, that certainly put me back a bit. I need to let it dry, it's, otherwise I'm really going to bollocks it up. Anyway, let's crack on with the other wing and get that masked. Hopefully without the loss of any decals. Here goes. There we go, that's that wing ready for spraying. Also, the other wing has dried, so let's crack on with masking it. Here we go with that. them ready now. 
we added a bit of extra masking tape for added protection against overspray so we can pop that to one side whilst we put those to one side let's bring out the other portions of the flaps and get those ready for spraying so let's get that cracked shall we there we have them ready for spraying I'm using Tamiya XF21 Sky why not cockpit green or white or grey or even zinc chromate I really don't know I think I was having a bit of a brain fart moment but hey ho my model my colours <laughs> anyway here we go There we have the flaps painted. They need to dry so we'll pop them over there and let them dry. Next up spraying the canopy. This is the new one. So let's get it sorted shall we? There we go that didn't take long did it? And I sprayed it in the right colour. Get me. Anyway next up unmasking. I always like this part so here we go. Well, I used to like it. Bugger, bollocks and twat spangles. Anyway, let's take this back to the WR. Luckily, I have another set of spare decals. Okay, that's looking good. Well, the spraying that is. The decals look okay, what's left of them, and that bit is pretty salvageable. Anyway, let's unmask this one and see how this goes. You are freaking kidding me. For God's sake. Hey ho, as said previously, luckily I have a spare set of decals, so we can take this one back to the WR9 and redo them. I can't change the kite number as I've already done the tail letters and the name of it. So let's crack on, shall we? There we go, that's the underwing decal sorted and ready to have the numbers replaced. I used Microsoft, Microsoft? Microset and my own solution to get them to sit properly. Hopefully that's all sorted. We'll see about that. Next, the fuselage decals. Some of these were curling under. I'm not sure what the hell is going on here, as it's not all of the decals, just some of them. Anyway, let's get this lot sorted. There's the fuselage done and we can pop that over there to allow the decals to dry. Now a day later the decals have set properly and we can put the rest on. So let's get that cracked shall we?
there we have the shack's ID done. Hopefully that's the last of that issue with decals. Next up, gluing stuff onto the wings, like props and undercarts. But before that, guess what? Yes, I've got to redo the bleeding creep decals on the wheels. So, let's get those sorted. Oh yes, and the tail wheel. And now for the undercart. There we have those done. I use super glue to make sure they stay stuck together. Will it come back and haunt me? Hmm. Let's see. Anyway, now to have a look at her all together. If I can get it in frame. There she is in all her glory. Still not in frame. Anyway, that bloody doodad that goes on top has come off again. Just another thing that this model is fighting me on. Anyway, let's get that glue back on. There 
we go, that's a doodad glued back on. Let's hope it stays there this time. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 13. If you want to see what happens in episode 14, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.